take you back to Kelly Hoskins story. She was telling us about the St. Louis police identifying the skateboarder who was murdered at Keener Plaza yesterday in an execution style shooting. Kelly bringing us the latest information as they continue to search for the shooter. Well, we're here near 7th and Market where that deadly shooting happened here in Keener Plaza. Police identified the victim as 30 year old Darius Mullins. His loved ones right now have more questions than answers. This kind of thing happens. It's just devastating for this family. Family and friends of 30 year old Darius Mullins are trying to come to grips with the horrible tragedy. After Mullins was gunned down at Keener Plaza Thursday around 3.30 in the afternoon. He had a smile. Everybody called him Smiley. So he lit up a room wherever he he went. He was always pleasant. He was always fun. That was Darius. Darius was a free spirit. Committee woman Yolanda Yancey says Mullins was her godson and says he had a passion for skateboarding and loved singing. His life was taken to senseless gun violence. This has been a very tragic thing that has happened for our family. Darius' life was not tragic, but this incident was tragic. Bomberita Automotive Group Skyfox was over the scene Thursday afternoon. Investigators tell us Mullins had been skateboarding and was sitting on the bench taking a break. We're told the shooter approached him and the two started arguing. At that point, authorities say the suspect opened fire. Police call this a targeted attack because of the verbal altercation. Community leaders want the violence to end. A shooting, a homicide in the middle of the day, downtown St. Louis, is absolutely horrific and um, certainly uh, something that we should all be very, very concerned about. Mullins' loved ones say he tried to run, but the suspect chased after him, continuing to fire shots. We're told Mullins eventually collapsed and the suspect then stood over him and shot more times. Mullins died at the scene. Mullins' family and friends want justice. My plea is for whoever knows anything or whoever, uh, you know, we hear this all the time. If you see something, say something. This is a grieving mother who's grieving the loss of her only child. No arrests have been made in the case. Police are hoping that surveillance cameras in the area will help police identify the shooter. Authorities are encouraging anyone with information to contact Crime Stoppers. Reporting in downtown St. Louis, Kelly Hoskins, Fox 2 News.